What's your plan if nuclear war breaks out between NATO and Russia? I'm in Munich, so without Russia's gas supply heating my home this winter, I will be mostly cold and then all of a sudden very hot and subsequently very vaporized. I think Antarctica is quite nice around this time. I seduce the warhead. I'm immediately going to stop paying my master card. Piss and moan about the game servers being down. Jump over the shock wave. Too easy. I have keys for the local metro facilities, so building up my Fallout-esque empire I guess said it to everyone asking to join me how about a little resume? What do you bring to the table? How are your scavenging skills? Can you craft tools from rat bones? Would you pre-taste potentially radioactive water? What are your qualifications? Also to the people trying to steal my keys good luck, I'll hide them in a place you wouldn't want to touch. I just hope it starts early in the day so I don't have to work on the day I die. Die and laugh at all the credit card companies. I won. Being in the suburbs of Washington DC, I won't even know when it happens. My family and I will be vaporized instantly. Probably for the best. The survivors are going to be in for some unimaginable hell. Die? I'm not rich enough to own a bunker and not important enough to be invited to one. Not much, I live two miles from the Pentagon. I'm probably going to have to work that day. Take a road trip to the nearby NATO base, sit in the grass outside, open a bottle of wine and smoke a few cigarettes. When the explosion comes I want to make sure I'm in the blast radius. There is 100 chance of not suffering. Die? Limber up a bit so I don't pull a muscle as I attempt to kiss my ass goodbye. I'm going to politely, but firmly, ask them both to stop fighting and talk it out. Taught to myself that we got another fallout before the next Elder Scrolls. Then die horrifically OFC. A giant mushroom maybe it's friendly. I live down the road from an atomic weapons facility, so I plan on being a fine red mist about 10 minutes after Putin pushes the button. But nukes drop work nuclear explosions aren't an excuse for being late. What I was taught to do in public school. Find a desk and get under it where I'm safe. I am going to turn on We'll Meet Again by Vera Lynn. Get a lawn chair, put on my sunglasses and take a nice radiation bath. I'm going to call back and see what the fuck happens if I sign up for my vehicle's extended warranty. My plan is to get vaporized like a goddamn adult. Step 1 Panic. X200B Step 2 Crippling Anxiety. X200B Step 3 Return to Step 1. In Missouri there are limestone caves that contain 1.4 billion tons of government cheese. I'm going to hide a box of instant mashed potatoes, four shotgun shells, and a collectible bobblehead in a safe and scribble a note that holds a clue to the combination. Uh hide in my basement I guess. Go home to my parents house. Get incinerated into a pile of ash probably. Go to the playground and then wave hello to Sarah Connor. Hope one of the missiles landed directly on me. Laugh hysterically when Russia tries to instigate a nuclear holocaust but the bomb is a dud because someone replaced the uranium with confetti in 1987. I'm fairly rural so I might stand a chance. I've got a decent amount of dried and tinned foods. If I have time I could fill the bath with water and not leave my house for a couple weeks. From there who knows? Hopefully some sort of structure would survive to distribute rations. Maybe find others and form some sort of community. Above all hope I don't die of radiation poisoning, that shit looks horrifying. Go back to my planet, I didn't sign up for this shit. Go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint. And wait for this all to blow over? Honestly I think the only thing that would happen is all of my plans suddenly going to shit. Eat as much chocolate as I can before I die. Get bottle caps keep wearing a mask once I am a fallout zombie. Buy a V8 GT Falcon, a leather jacket, a dog and a shotgun. Then drive around the country taking out bandits and motorcycles gangs. Until I become a legend called the Road Warrior. One of my pet peeves is the common idea that a nuclear war necessarily means we are all doomed and the living will envy the dead. A full-blown, fire-everything exchange would do that, yes. But most nuclear weapons are well under 1 megaton and are eminently survivable as long as you don't do anything stupid. The problem is, people internalize the day after and thread so hard that they stopped imagining it was possible to survive a nuclear attack. That leads them to do extremely stupid things that will, in fact, get them killed, when they could easily have lived. Four things to do in a nuclear attack 1. Get to shelter. Go the same place you'd go for a tornado or earthquake drill. Stay the hell away from windows. Glass is likely to shatter, and that could expose you to fallout. You should already have basic emergency supplies in your home for natural disasters a few days worth of water, a couple days dried food, a weather radio, a flashlight. You know, the basics recommended by, nothing weird or prepper-ish. 2. Duck and cover. No. It wasn't just nihilistic reassurance for an idiot public in the 1950s. Duck and cover could very well save your life. 3. Clean up. 
See open windows with plastic sheeting and duct tape from your basic emergency supplies. Assume that literally anything on your person, including your skin, that was outside or has had contact with the outside world during the blast or for 24 hours afterward is contaminated. Contaminated clothing should be stripped and left outside your shelter. Contaminated skin should be washed with soap, water, and shampoo. Don't turn on your shower it won't work, and you can't trust the water anyway. 4. Remain inside for at least 24 hours to let fallout settle. 4b. Public authorities advise otherwise you're listening to them on your weather radio. Remember or circumstances like a firestorm force you to evacuate. Running through radiation is by no means good times, but it's also not generally a death sentence, especially if you've had some time to let things settle down after the blast. A few years ago, I wrote a longer article that discussed all this in greater detail. Nothing. I live close to a nuclear bunker used by the U.S. government in case nuclear war starts. They apparently have emergency operation centers for the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps in there. I'm a goner. Type I told you so into a group chat and die with my smug face melting off my skull. There won't be much to do. All the bowling alleys will be wrecked. So's I guess I'll spend most of my time looking for beers. Grab a tennis racket and hit the nukes back. I'll either succeed and it'll be awesome, or I'll die trying. Or, I'll walk into the woods and never return. And when I return, I'll be the knife master. I'm going to rub one out and hope my fossilized remains get found by paleontologists billions of years in the future when Earth regains somewhat intelligent life. Just going to enjoy the time left and not waste the time worrying. Maybe start a cult if the situation allows. I'll buy a WinRAR license. I would simply not let the radiation fuck me up. I'm built different. Hold my wife and tell her I love her. Break up school. I'd finally relax. Nothing. The world is pretty fucked at that point. Just stop worrying and learn to love the bomb. I live in a NATO country, so. Winning the war? And then, nuclear winter and death. I'm in Poland, so my best bet is hoping that the radiation poisoning will give me some cool powers, instead of melting my insides. If there's anything left of me, that is. Stand on my balcony with a BB gun and attempt to shoot down Russian missiles. From what we've seen of their military technology the past year or so, I don't hate my chances. Pop some popcorn and watch until it reaches here then hope I don't die. If we don't all turn to ash immediately, try to make it to my in-law's house in Guatemala and hope nobody targeted that area. I live close to three or four targets on a USSR map. X200B hug my kids and enjoy the two seconds light show. Spend as much time with my kids as possible before we all die. Hang out in Australia and be like WTF mate. I'll give the optimistic answer enjoy watching every rusty, unmaintained Russian missile misfire into a Russian neighborhood or the ocean, not even exploding, while NATO missiles obliterate their launch points and the US Navy sinks every ship they have in a matter of hours. Find the nearest blast zone. I hope you all are doing well, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video. If you have something to say critically or otherwise, leave a comment. And if you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe to see more of it. I hope you all have wonderful and fulfilled lives.